This is the game Triple H. You're watching Muscle in the Morning. Get all your bodybuilding news and all your facts and stuff right here. Holy Monday, Batman! We're back with Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark! I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Monday, January 16th, 2017. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. I've got news for you. If you're a competitor in the 212 division right now, this is Flex Lewis's world, and we're just all living in it. Over the weekend, the five-time 212 Olympian released a progress photo that probably gave more than a few people nightmares, as he continues to cruise along with another wildly productive off-season. Don't ask me how he does it, but somehow, and some way, Lewis has continued to raise his own impossibly high bar year after year. With Olympia title number six on the table this year, and a chance to tie the legendary Dorian Yates as one of the greatest champions in bodybuilding history, You'd have to think that he's going to be even more motivated to come in and keep rewriting the record books. Every year we end up with a few mid-season surprises who come in and turn all our predictions upside down. And when he's at his best, Al Augusti is exactly the kind of guy I'm talking about. Late last week, some new progress photos surfaced of the former five-time Olympian who seems to be well on his way to wrapping up another solid off-season. After battling his way back from a series of gruesome injuries, the South Florida native has finally seemed to regain his stride. In the past, we've seen a 100% Al Augusti come in and be completely dominant. So if he's got even close to that championship-level form back again, I fully expect to see him making some noise later this season. I may be guilty of getting a little loose with the term cannonball delts before, but I'm going to have to come up with some new adjectives to describe the territory that Justin Compton's shoulders have now entered. This past weekend, Bodybuilding's version of Half Man Half Amazing released a brief clip from a recent shoulder session, showing off what might be the nuttiest looking delts in the sport right now. Despite peeling off back-to-back -back top four finishes in his last two trips to Columbus, it still feels like this kid has a lot more left in the tank. With a few minor tweaks, I think it's entirely possible that Justin Compton could be your next Arnold Classic champion. Thanks to Oksana Grishina defending her title at the Fitness International, this year the fitness division seems to be an all but a foregone conclusion. But apparently nobody told Whitney Jones. The longtime veteran has been training like a bat out of hell lately and seems determined to make trip number 11 to the Fitness International stage her best yet. When she's at her best, Jones is one of a handful of competitors that actually has a shot to push reigning champion Oksana Grishina to her limits. And if she can manage to pull off the win, you can make a legitimate argument that it would be the biggest upset in the history of fitness. Over the last few years, we've seen plenty of guys come in and be able to make an impact from day one in the men's physique division. And one impact rookie you might want to keep your eye on as the season rolls along is last year's North American champ, Evan Canoe. Last season, Canoe was without a doubt one of the most dominant men's physique athletes we had on the amateur level in quite some time. And now that he's finally able to devote his full, undivided attention to training and growing, this kid looks like he's going to be dynamite from the minute he steps on stage. Canoe has all the tools you look for in a future star at the pro level. So if he can buckle down and stay consistent, I think he has a very bright future. Hey guys, it's Stevie B here. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button below and never miss another RX Muscle show, segment, or update. RX Muscle is number one. Woo!